So now next one is uh, what is resistor divider circuit and a binary ladder circuit or what is the advantage of binary ladder and resistor divider circuit. Both circuits are used to convert uh, <coughs> digital into uh, analog signal. So before that uh, I need to explain what is the uh, ADC, what is the uh, DAC. ADC is nothing but uh, the process of converting analog signal into digital signal and DAC is nothing but the process of converting digital signal into analog signal. So uh, to convert digital into analog signal uh, we are using uh, DAC. Uh, the methods are uh, here used is resistive uh, divider circuit and binary ladder circuit. But the difference between the resistive divider and binary ladder is that uh, resistive divider we are you have to use uh, so many resistors uh, depending on the number of bits uh, and the value of the resistor will vary like LSB resistor value is highest compared to MSB resistor value. And if the number of bits are more like 16 bit 32 uh, bit uh, MSB resistors are uh, somewhat uh, negligible compared to LSB resistor. So that is the uh, difference between, uh, uh, in, but in a binary ladder we are using only two resistors R and 2R uh, and it is connected in the form of ladder that's why uh, it looks like a ladder circuit that's why it is called a binary ladder. So what are the functional components of uh, uh, digital to analog uh, converter? What are the functional components of digital to analog uh, converter? The functional components of digital to analog converter is the input gate uh, where the inputs are stored, uh, input gates uh, uh, through which we are feeding input. Uh, and uh, uh, digital data then uh, register where we will store uh, the input and uh, level amplifiers uh, last one is the resistive divider uh, resistive divider network uh, where it will be converted into analog voltage. <coughs> so what are the different types of ADC method? Uh, the different types of ADC methods are uh, one is called as a Simultaneous conver uh, conversion or flash uh, type converter. Second one is the counter method. Third one is uh, uh, successive approximation. Fourth one is uh, single type of ramp. Fifth one is uh, dual type of ramp. These are the different type of uh, dual slope, uh, single slope ramp or dual slope ramp. These are different types of methods. Uh, which one is the faster method and which is the slower method? Uh, flash type is the faster method and uh, uh, counter type is the slower method. So uh, what are the architectures of, what are the important component of 555? Triple 5 timer contains uh, uh, something like uh, comparator and uh, 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 flip flop and uh, discharge transistors, uh, reset transistors other than that uh, series uh, 3 resistors, uh, 5k resistors are connected in a series. So what is a comparator? Comparator is the uh, nothing but uh, essentially is nothing but uh, operational amplifier circuit uh, where uh, we will give the input. Uh, uh, to the non-inverting terminal uh, and uh, you will uh, uh, make, uh, you will uh, you will give the other, other input to the inverting terminal and you will compare depending on the value the output will be in the uh, positive VSAT or negative VSAT uh, that is called as a comparator. What is LTP and what is UTP? LTP is the lower threshold point, uh, UTP is nothing but uh, upper threshold point. Uh, So what is the difference between BJT and uh, FET? FET is nothing but a field effect transistor. BJT is nothing but bipolar junction transistor. The difference between BJT and FET is uh, BJT is a uh, current control device that is output current is proportional to the base current. Uh, FET is a voltage control device. Uh, output uh, uh, current is controlled by changing the voltage at the changing the voltage at the input. Uh, So what is the difference between a junction field effect uh, transistor and MOSFET? Uh, junction field effect transistor, uh, there are two types, N channel and P channel. In MOSFET, uh, we have depletion MOSFET and uh, enhancement MOSFET. Uh, junction field effect transistor, input impedance is uh, 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 10 to the power 9, uh, but in MOSFET, input impedance is very high compared to junction field effect. And uh, in MOSFET, uh, gate leakage current is in picoamps, in junction field effect transistor, it is in nanoamps. Uh, so like uh, these are some of the uh, this one uh, difference. What is D and enhancement MOSFET? D is a depletion MOSFET. Depletion MOSFET uh, you, uh, works in uh, uh, two ways. One is enhancement way, one is depletion way by using the, uh, by controlling the gate to source voltage. So when you give gate to source, positive gate to source voltage, it works in enhancement mode. When you give negative gate to source voltage, it works in the depletion mode. Enhancement MOSFET works in only enhancement uh, uh, mode only. 
Why MOSFET can be used as a variable resistor and current limiter? MOSFET, if you take the MOSFET uh, output characteristics, uh, it can show output characteristics will vary for a different value of uh, VGS. That means uh, if you see the output characteristics of uh, MOSFET for VGS 0, VGS 1, VGS 2, VGS 3, it has got a different uh, slope. Slope is nothing but uh, inversely proportional to resistance. That's why which can provide a variable resistor. And we know MOSFET, uh, when you vary VGS and VDS, uh, after certain value of uh, VDS, uh, that is called as pinch of voltage, uh, the current will saturate and current will not increase, uh, current will remain saturate uh, behind the uh, 